Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I want to do a video today on how you can turn off the audio capture on the Feed Me Pam 2 Pocket Gimbal. Now, when it comes to uh, audio capture on this thing, firstly, and I apologize in advance for my shaky hands, I've just had way too much coffee before making this video. Um, you can use an external microphone with this, which is why there is an eighth jack on the back of the Pocket Gimbal, and that's actually really useful. Now my criticism is that um, unfortunately you can't, it doesn't have like level meters. So when it comes to adjusting the level of sound, you have three options. You have high, you have low, and you have off. So um, I made the point on a review video I posted about this before that it's not really great because I, in my experience, the, like the microphone um, capture is very, very inconsistent. As I record this on my Canon Vixia camcorder, I have a level meter and I can adjust it all the way from zero to 100 so I can dial in an exter any external microphone exactly as I want it to be. Um, I don't have that luxury on the Femi. It's just kind of, well, if high is too high, then try turning it down to low. Um, anyway, what I want to show in this video is how to get it to mute. Now you might be wondering, well, why would you not want to capture audio? So sometimes I shoot stock video using this and you can see I'm currently in the 4K 24 FPS setting which is what I use when I'm shooting stock. And when I'm shooting stock, I generally don't want audio. So to save myself a bit of time in going into post-production and deleting the audio and exporting, there's probably a smarter way to do it. That's how I do it currently. Um, it's easier if I'm going on a stock shoot just to turn off audio capture. Now, something I find slightly confusing about the way the menus are laid out in the in the uh, Femi Pam 2, there's like actually three menus. Now, as I said, I've drunk too much coffee and I can see my thumb shaking and it's very off-putting, but just bear with me here. Menu one is clicking on the settings icon on the bottom right. And this is how you can get, you can adjust the aperture, ISO um, and white balance manually. So that's like your first menu. Your second menu is by pulling down and then going left and right. You can actually use the joystick as well, if I'm not mistaken, yep. And that's kind of got the most settings in it, but where the mute microphone setting is buried is you need to actually click top left, okay? By the camera single by the camera symbol and that's that that's the same menu where you can toggle the shooting resolution then there is hdr then you've got picture quality which can be fine i think just fine or super fine then you've got your color hold on i'm skipping one which can be natural or f log and then you've got mic and the last one just to do this completely is denoise i have found the denoise very bad when i turned it on the sound actually sounds worse so in mic, you have three settings, you've mute, you've low, and you've high, that's it. Uh, now in order to not capture sound, you obviously wanna go for mute, and then just to select, you wanna click on the, um, you, I click on the record icon, and now when I'm shooting video clips on this, it's not gonna be capturing any sound. So that is how you can turn off the microphone capture using the uh, Femi Pam 2 Pocket Gimbal. I hope this video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.